For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Abba. Tiffany Haddish and Aerie Spears are shockingly being accused of sexual assault for minors after being sued. According to the Los Angeles Times, a lawsuit was filed this past Tuesday in the Los Angeles Superior Court claiming that the comedians allegedly assaulted siblings named John Doe and Jane Doe in the fight. The lawsuit goes on to allege that Haddish and Spears groomed and molested the plaintiffs. Representatives for both Haddish and Spears have responded and denied the accusations. In a statement to the Times, Haddish's attorney, Andrew Bettler, rejected the claims. Plaintiffs mother, Trisva Morris, has been trying to assert these bogus claims against Ms. Haddish for several years. Every attorney who has initially taken on her case, and there were several, ultimately dropped the matter once it became clear that the claims were meritless and Ms. Haddish would not be shaken down. Now, Ms. Morris has her adult daughter representing herself in this lawsuit. The two of them together face the consequences of pursuing this frivolous action. Deborah O'Pree, an attorney for Spears said he isn't going to fall for any shakedown. According to Yahoo Entertainment, in 2013, Jane Doe, who was 14 at the time, alleged that Spears and Haddish persuaded her to mimic giving a fellatio for a skit. In 2014, seven-year-old John Doe was allegedly stripped down to his underwear to film another skit. The Daily Beast would be the first to report, and according to the lawsuit, the siblings claimed that Haddish took John Doe to Spears' home, where he was allegedly molested by him. According to the Times, the 31-page lawsuit also states Jane Doe's 2013 interaction with Spears and Haddish allegedly involved her copying the actions of a video in which a man and a woman ate a sandwich while moaning and making sexual noises in a way that simulated the act of the fellatio. Haddish allegedly showed Jane Doe how to give fellatio, including movements, noises, moaning, and groaning. In a skit named Through a Pedophile's Eyes, Spears is lusting over a seven-year-old who was in his underwear. The sketch also features Haddish playing the boy's mother. According to the Fox News, the video was uploaded to Funny or Die before being removed in 2018. In response, Funny or Die would release his statement to TMZ. Funny or Die found this video absolutely disgusting and would never produce such content. We were not involved with the conceptualization, development, funding, or production of this video. It was uploaded to the site as user-generated content and we removed it in 2018 immediately after becoming aware of its existence. According to the lawsuit, after the filming, John Doe called his mother crying, saying he did not want to film anymore. The filing claims that Spears told the children's mother that the video had been deleted after she asked to see, even though it was allegedly posted to the Funny or Die website. According to the Los Angeles Times, the 2014 skit that involved John Doe was intended to be used for a real in order to help him land a gig at Nickelodeon. In 2018, the children's mother attempted a $15,000 settlement with Spears, but was unsuccessful. However, in a new lawsuit, John and Jane Doe have accused both Haddison Spears of gross negligence, sexual battery, sexual harassment, and sexual abuse of a minor. They're looking for an amount to cover past, present, and future general damages. According to the Daily Beast, the plaintiff would also go on to mention, Tiffany came and told me to let him touch me. When I kept crying, Tiffany got mad at me, told me to get dressed and took me home. I remember her yelling at me in the car, telling me that I would never get on TV acting like that. So what do you guys think about the story involving Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish? Let's talk about it more in the comments below. And plus, stay up to date for more original news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel and follow Comedy Hype across all social media. For Comedy Hype News, I'm John Hopper.